Hi there, my name is Malcolm Budin and I'm a CCDE instructor from ABNB Networks. This video is a short video to give an update to CCDE candidates about how we're getting on with the development of the new version 3 content. The first question we're going to answer is MNB Networks. Why should a CCDE candidate invest in us as a training provider? There's other training providers out there that are established, etc. Why should we go with you? On the screen, we've got a few reasons why I feel that our CCDE content will benefit candidates. And I'm going to run through these and expand on them a little bit more. So I'm a CCDE myself and I have in the year that I'm starting these courses I have five years experience of being a CCDE and that's not just being a CCDE from passing the exam. I have over 20 years experience in the IT industry with most of that being within the network design space and network engineering space. I've worked with multiple different customers from small networks to global enterprises and service providers. Design is my passion. I am an established network designer and now also an established trainer. I do have multiple courses on designing networks based on real life scenarios and that is the key differentiator. I'm not a trainer that just trains people based on what the book says I'm a trainer that designs networks in my day job and I try to convey that knowledge in all of my training. My CCDE training in particular is based on one of the industry's leading CCDE trainers, Jeremy Philibin. Jeremy has been in the CCDE community for over 10 years and helped around 150 people pass the CCDE exam. Jeremy has now moved on to Pastures New and passed his training hat for the CCDE over to myself and trusted me to develop that content from version 2 to version 3 and take the training to the next stage along with helping existing students on their CCDE journey. I like to think of myself as a empathetic, compassionate, I'm always realistic, but I'm also a personable person. I'm a real person. I understand the challenges that you're probably going through on the CCDE track. It's an emotional roller coaster. Uh, it can be quite stressful and I get it. I've been there myself and I try to um, help the students from that perspective as much as possible. And the other thing is, rather than having massive study groups with thousands or hundreds of people in a certain group, we're very focused on network design and also the CCDE in particular and working towards CCDE level network design. In respect to the actual MNB networks, courses and what is our approach. First of all, it was announced some time ago that I was taking over the training courses from Jeremy and there's a little bit of a delay in the release of these courses. The reason for this is the jump from CCDE version 2 to CCDE version 3 is actually quite significant. It's not just a few additional subjects in design, the only way to become a good network designer is to be working with lots of different network designs all the time and being exposed to different networking technologies and mastering those to understand what can be good or what does good look like, what does bad look like and what are some of the things that we just need to look out for. The difference between version 2 and version 3, although it's played out as it's not that much, there is actually a number of different topics which need to be 
expanded upon or removed or added in to the curriculum from the version 2 exam and that's why it's taking a little bit longer than originally anticipated. So therefore we are basically doing our due diligence which is the same as any other design. The other thing that I would say about MNB Networks and myself as a trainer is that I am laser focused. There's no other outside interests other than consulting which is something that I do in order to keep up with the industry but also running a successful consultancy organisation I need to stay ahead of the game in regard to what's happening in the industry but that all feeds back into the network design training aspect and specifically the CCDE uh, that I'm laser focused on design so I'm not going to start doing other courses which are vendor specific and things like that I'm going to concentrate on the CCDE and network design as our forte this is what we love doing this is what our passion is about and this is what we are going to continue delivering for our students and developing to make sure that the students who take our CCDE training always feel supported, always feel like they have value for money, and hopefully that ends in a successful CCDE attempt. In respect to timescales, we are looking at updating the existing exams that Jeremy Philibin used to deliver by February 2022, and then we're looking at having a boot camp available before the CCDE exam in April 2022. I'll finish this video by giving a short overview as to the topics that are being added in to the CCDE bootcamp and exams that were previously delivered by Jeremy and hopefully this will shed some light on why it's taken a little bit more time than previously anticipated. But we want to make sure that what the students are getting is value for money and they're getting the most important things that are covered in the CCDE exam. This document, which is still in draft format but will be released, explains all of the MNB Network's training offerings which are either going to be imminently released or will be released in the future for the CCDE. So you will get a PDF version of this document which just all it does is explains the courses and their offerings so it's completely clear. This front page is an example of the type of network and the complexity that we will go into in the training materials. Here we have a table of contents where we talk about the MNB training platform the network diagram collaboration tool, we use Lucidchart, also CCDE training options, and then we'll just go into them and explain what each of them are. So, in summary, there's a few things to point out here. The CCDE, you should know what it is if you're watching this video, but it's an eight hour practical exam which has four scenarios which are up to two hours each. We'll talk more about that in the actual course. We are moving from version 2 to version 3 and there is a number of things that are different between the versions. MNB Networks deliver all training via the MNB Networks training platform and that looks similar to the picture which is shown here where you log in, you have a dashboard and you can effectively click on the courses that you're eligible to consume based on what you've purchased. We use a program called Lucidchart, which has a free version, so any student can use it to design network diagrams, but we also have Lucidchart teams, and that allows us to collaborate on designs and discussions together without working in our own little silos. But we can also do that ourselves if we have a task or a challenge that we also want to work on ourselves.
The CCDE training options which MNB Networks will offer in the longer term are a self-paced core technologies course. We will also offer a five-day bootcamp which will replicate Jeremy Philibin's bootcamp which is run for over 10 years. We will eventually offer some two-day instructor-led courses on the expertise topics but we are only going to cover large-scale networks and on-prem cloud. We may cover the mobility expertise topic in the future or the wireless expertise topic but that's not something that we'll cover in depth in our initial offering but we will talk about things like ICE deployment methodologies and the different models that you can use to deploy ICE. And of course we also have the CCDE practice exams. The CCDE practice exams again are or have been developed over 10 years by Jeremy Philibin and we are only enhancing them by adding the topics that are missing from the CCDE version 3 blueprint. The rest of the document explains the delivery method of the courses, which I won't cover in this video. One thing to mention is in the five-day instructor-led bootcamp, we will give the exams, the practice exams, I should say, to the students in a PDF format, but you will also have access to an online environment to practice exams which are timed and two hours for each exam. They are as close to the exam as you can get in respect to the environment. They have nothing to do with the actual CCDE exam, but they will give you an experience which is close to the exam but with our own content which is developed from MNB Network's experience working with different customers. So here we have a document download. You click next and then you get a document download. Here we have a multiple choice question and then we also have like an ordered list. So this might be an implementation question. Finally, in the last couple of parts of this document, we will explain exactly what we have added to the CCDE training course previously delivered by Jeremy Philibin. The reason that we spell this out is partially to explain the effort that we're putting in to make sure that our CCDE candidates are successful. In this particular table, the thing that we're trying to articulate is what is the CCDE version 2 to version 3 delta? What blueprint, because there is actually five blueprints now in the CCDE version 3, where the main thing or the main thing to observe here is that we've spent a lot of time calling out whether it's the core technologies, the unified topics, the on-prem cloud, or the large scale networks sections or blueprints because these are all separate blueprints which overlap with each other and then we have the technologies which are within each of those blueprints and we will intertwine these different technologies which are all being marked off I think the last time I checked there was around 28 additional subject matters that had to be added and this is versus the the new version 3 blueprint as opposed to the version 2 blueprint so there's around about 23 different subject matters that we believe at MNB networks are a delta between what is in version 2 between that and what is in version 3 so we are adding all of these different technologies where they differ slightly or they are new into the new training content. As you can see here, the two day courses for the expertise areas are going to be a future initiative for us. And what we will do is update the exams which already exist 
to version 3. All exams will be version 3.x.x. In addition to the actual exams, these ones here have questions with them. The three below, Piney Point University, will be familiar to some of Jeremy's existing students. But we also have a couple of exam reading and review scenarios, which are Mellor Construction and Scotcom. These are included in the course, and we're also looking at potentially adding some more exams or maybe one or two more if we do not decide to rewrite. For example, Metalworks has some old WAN technology, so that might evolve to SD-WAN. Or we might write a new SD-WAN scenario down here. But regardless, these two here will be new or new to the CCDE candidate. This concludes the overview of the CCDE training which is coming from MNB Networks. I hope this information was informative and helpful to you and hopefully you'll consider us for the CCDE certification. We genuinely want you to succeed and we'll do everything that's possible in order to help you along that journey. Thanks very much for your attention and speak to you soon.